Yeah. Ooga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to we used to <laughs> scream out Ugat, Ugat, because there were a lot of a lot of guineas in there. Right. <laughs> Ugat, Ugat. So when Ira wrestled at the uh, at, North at the tournaments, and Ira would uh, wrestle super heavy. We would yell, ooh, Ira, ooh, Ira. <laughs> and everyone looked at us like, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Ooh, Ira. You had no idea. Jimmy got new and the rest of the team, but that was about it. <laughs> I want to tell you one more story. Yeah. Uh oh, I love it. My no, freshman, my, my freshman, I more. Okay. how about when you broke my, my wrist? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that. And Billy Reingold's on, too. But anyway, oh, no. when I was a freshman in college, I went out, I didn't want to go on the wrestling team. I wanted to be a manager to go visit people at other colleges. But it turns out that the wrestling coach was good friends with Eric Waters' brother, David, oh, and, oh, I, oh. Uh, and he saw me wrestle in the counties where I took a second. And he goes, you're going to wrestle for us. So anyway, I go out, it's my first match of the year. And at that time, we're talking about 1970. We all had, Cortland was a phys ed school, like Maria knows. So you either had a crew cut or you had long hair. I had long hair because I didn't want to be a jock, but, I, but I'm still wrestling. So we go out there, and I'll never forget, we're wrestling Cornell, and I'm wrestling this guy, and the score at that time is Cornell is beating us. 52 to nothing. No. Right? no. Like this is, this no, is the yet. words of encouragement of my coach. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I go out there, and the only one in the stands were a couple of friends of mine, including Michael Abramowitz. And I was so big, they didn't have a wrestling trunk for me to wear. So I was wearing a bathing suit, right? But I had a top that could fit me. So I'll never forget, we go out of bounds and we go back to the middle and the guy gets up, he's trying to break my grasp and he can't break it. And we go out of bounds and I'll never forget this. My swimming trunks oh. Oh. had fallen down and all, I'm totally bare-assed except for my jock strap. Oh, wow. right? Did and anybody coach, take a picture? Like, no, wait, wait. Right. They were filming it on one of those local like PBS type <laughs> things. And my coach came out with duct tape. And duct tape me so I could finish the match. <laughs> but I won. I was the only one who won. Yeah, that's a great, what a story. Oh my God.